well, it was the photo seen around the world, capturing the moment when 27-year-old Jeff Bowman was wheeled away in the aftermath of the 2013 Boston Marathon bombings. The blast cost him both legs, and the image became one of the most iconic from that terrible day. Now, four and a half years later, Jeff's road to recovery is hitting the big screen in the new movie, Stronger. Up, hips back, hips back, chest up, chest up, Jeffy. Chest up, up. okay, chest up, God. chest up, chest up. Good, good, okay? That's amazing. Good. Okay. Jeff, you are so tall. All right, first time. Keep going. I can't. I can't. And Jeff is here this morning along with Jake Gyllenhaal, who plays Jeff in the film. Good morning, morning gentlemen. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Just watching that clip, I saw the movie last night. I mean, it really grabs your heart, and it's, it's so moving. And I can't imagine, Jeff, what it was like for you to watch this unfold, because it, at least to the viewer, it felt so real. How did it feel to you? It was, uh, yeah, very surreal. But I just want to say thank you, Sven. I've, I met you three times now, and yes. one time you were pregnant, and the other time <laughs> it was... Circle of life. Circle of life. And you have a little girl now, yeah, too, she's, right? she's uh, three, yeah, three now. Nora, congratulations. Nora, yeah. Thank you so much. Jake, yeah. what was this process like for you, different from other roles that, that you've had, where you're not playing a fictional character, you're playing a real-life character, but also someone we don't know that much about privately. We've seen you throwing out first pitches at the Red Sox games and getting the adulation from the people of Boston yeah. and the country. What did you have to do differently to study Jack? I mean, first of all, it was a I felt a huge responsibility, not only to Jeff, first and foremost, but to his family and to the city of Boston, and then to anybody who really saw that photograph or who, you know, had any feelings about what, what happened to him on that day. I think, you know, for me, um, what I discovered was his incredible sense of humor, <laughs> uh, which uh, I guess wasn't a surprise, but I think I realized that's really what, what got him through all of this. I think that's sort of, that's what's in the movie. And, and I think also just the incredible community around him, you know, yeah. the people with all their complications and all their, you know, messiness and complexities, they all love him so much. And you start to realize that's, that's the, the only thing that matters. And, at all. I'm glad you mentioned the humor because I mentioned my tears, but I have to say that it is, you play it w with such heart and you really see, Jeff, your personality and you are a very, very funny guy. Um, I know the premiere was, <laughs> he's like, thank you. I'm very, that's right, I've been quite hilarious. Um, he's like, thank you. Thank right. you. Correct. Don't be so serious Did over there. you see there. me staring off in the space <laughs> earlier? <laughs> I was reading the teleprompter. Yeah. <laughs> Jake, tell them what happened. We were doing the tease before. Yeah, I was doing the tease, and we were like, and now coming up next is Jake, Jake Dillon on Jeff Bowman, and Jeff was reading the teleprompter. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, wake up! You can't put a teleprompter in front of me. I'm Actually, read this is perfect because also during the clip, Jake's like telling Jeff, like, perk up, okay, we're on. Yeah, this is like, it. He's hitting me. I was he's like, we got three me. minutes, man. <laughs> stay awake. Stay awake. <laughs> Keep your energy up, man. <laughs> so let's talk about the premiere because this is really cool. It was the premiere for the movie was in Boston at the Spalding Rehabilitation. Center where you actually recovered and a lot yeah. of the film was shot there. It was amazing to have it at Spalding. It was, you know, it brought back a lot of memories. But you know what's great is that, like, my head PT, Michelle Kerr, she's in the movie. She's got a shot. And is she the one you call the Rottweiler? No, no that's, that's Odessa, Odessa Boykin. Oh, okay, sorry. Uh, she's <laughs> she, was my, she was my head nurse oh. at BMC. She's in the movie. And she. Mm -hmm took out Jake's uh, breathing tube and, or my breathing tube too, in real life, so. <laughs> These were your real caretakers who are yeah. now in the movie, which is yeah. just amazing. Yeah. It's Jeff Kalish, my surgeon, his voiceover to explain to what happened to me, to my, uh, to Clancy and Miranda, and yeah. that, all that stuff, like, really, you know, hits, hits me hard, and, and it's like, whoa. It's funny, yeah. Dr. Kalish came in because there were a lot of actors auditioning to play doctors and nurses, and David Gordon Green, our director, was sort of not satisfied with all the performances. He thought we were, had a meeting with Dr. Kalish to discuss what happened with Jeff, and uh, Dr. Kalish, uh, we thought, we turned to each other and said, maybe he can play the doctor. So we had him come in and audition, and he was really not good. <laughs> <laughs> But he's, but he's a great surgeon. He's a good yeah, guy. Good. But then he just said what he said to his family and to Jeff, and all of a sudden we thought, we don't need the script. We'll just have everybody come in and behave as they as they and did. Be themselves. Yeah. Then it's not acting. Yeah. We, just, we have to go, but 
What do you think of Jake's Boston accent? Did he get it? It was all right. <laughs> no, that, that's actually a compliment, so yeah. I'll take that. It was awesome. He's yeah. raving right yeah, now. Yeah, raving. He's like, yeah, two out of five stars. I'm like, yes. <laughs> he worked really hard. He did, and it, and it shows. Yeah, it's, it's, it's really excellent. Thank, Thank you, you so much, Congrats, Jake guys. and Jeff. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Good to see you. Stronger Hits Theaters on September 22nd. Check it out.